I, I get this always confused, yeah. and uh, uh, could you help me out with this? We have, what do we have on here? For, uh, Basically what we have is, is two 200 amp sub panels located in the pantry of this new construction. Outside, exterior, we have a main disconnect. It's a 400 amp main disconnect fuse. So these two panels would be considered sub panels because you already have your main disconnect outside. What you're looking for is to make sure that your neutrals, which are your grounded white wires, and your grounding wires, the bare wires, are isolated. So we do have it in this one, isolated neutrals from the grounding wires. And make sure we also have the bonding screw taken out from our neutral bus bar, which is right on top, you can see the hole. Uh, the, the bonding screw, that green screw, has been removed. Good. That's what we like to see in sub panels. Wait a minute, John Henry, but I've got a main disconnect here. Doesn't that make this a main disconnect? No, your main disconnect is outside. You can also have another disconnect for the panel, but it's still considered a sub panel because it's downstream from the first disconnect, which is located exterior of the house. Outstanding. Thank you, sir. You got me clarified, and uh, I'll make sure I don't pass on any more bad information. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.